Hi there, welcome to my channel. Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Nursing with Ingrid. Thank you so very much for stopping by yet once again. I absolutely appreciate it. Today, as you can see by the title of this video, we will be discussing the new curriculum with regards to registered nursing. And right up, let's take a look at the new curriculum that has been produced by the South African Nursing Council, which is the governing body for all nurses in South Africa. And they are responsible for our training, for our qualifications, as well as for our scope of practice. Previously, we had few different courses that were being um, done through the universities or done through the colleges. So what happened was that at one point you had students that were studying the exact same thing but having one having a diploma and one having a degree in nursing. However, at that point everybody was having the same qualifications regardless of where you studied. Now things have changed and South African Nursing Council has come to the realization over a couple of years with regards to the standard of practice and with the regards to all the hazards and the legalities that have come up with regards to nursing and nursing practice in general. So the solution that they have come up with instead of them continuing with the two-year course, which ends up, which makes you a staff nurse, they have now come up with a three-year diploma course where you are a registered general nurse, which means that you will practice on your own, you will practice and be in the capacity of a registered nurse at the end of the day. However, there are certain things that you will be limited to at the end of the day as well. And that course, is called the R171 that is uh, offered by the SANC and, and those are that is the course for people that cannot afford to go to university but however when you go into a college and you do the course and you complete it at the end of it you are a registered nurse but a general nurse. On the other hand we see that in the university space now we have the four-year course which is a degree course and with that you come out with general nursing and only midwifery and the reason being is that there is a shortage of midwives in South Africa so that is what SANC has decided to do to accommodate the needs of our country at the moment. So basically according to uh, the availability Either way, you are still going to end up being a registered nurse working within your prescribed scope of practice. And the reason why this is also the case is that we have found that over the years, like I've said in one of my previous videos, why is nursing mediocre, which I'll link below in the description box. Please go and watch that video. The reason being is that nursing has become mediocre because we don't have critical thinkers as registered nurses or as nurses that are taking care of our clients in the hospital. So that's why now you have to do the three-year course or you do the four-year course and it is very comprehensive and it focuses mainly on ethics, principles and um, medication administration, all those things that have been lacking in the previous years when it came to students that did the two-year course and then bridged to do another two years to become registered nurses. So with that, with council looking at all of these things at the end of the day, this is the new curriculum going forward. And it also aligns with the international standards with regards to nursing. So South Africa is now moving towards international standardization of nursing education, and that is why these two courses are now available. At the end of the day, it all boils down to the individual, whether you get to do the diploma course or whether you get to do the degree course. It is entirely up to you how you move your career forward. And with that, I would like to also emphasize that the onus remains on you as an individual, as a healthcare professional to educate yourself, empower yourself, grow yourself and study as much as you can. At the end of the day, we want people that are competent and efficient in what they do. And then we can minimize all the legalities that we have been facing as a nursing fraternity in the past couple of years. So with that, you gotta remember that you are the one that is responsible for your own learning, number one, 
for your own professional growth and for your own career. So regardless of where you do your training, it doesn't matter. It's entirely an individual self-determination mindset that is required. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'd like to say thank you for staying this long. Please give this video a massive thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. Please comment down below. Tell me what you think about this new curriculum because I know that I've been getting a lot of questions. If you want to reach out to me, you can find me on LinkedIn, on Facebook and on Instagram. And with that, as usual, take care, stay safe, God bless, goodbye.